Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is continue a segment on good places to find copper. And what I want to focus on today are actually copper aluminum heat sinks. I often talk about aluminum heat sinks. They are a great source of scrappable material. They come on all different types of circuit boards. And a lot of times if you will look at them, they are a nice chunk of aluminum. And these are actually going to be classified as extrusion, which is a form of aluminum. Uh, it is very recognizable because it looks like it's been put through a press. And currently this is actually going for $1.56 a pound right now, which is an excellent price. Uh, you do have different sizes, you do have different colors, and you do want to make sure you separate them because there is a separate category for painted extrusion and clean extrusion. Uh, it's about two cents difference, uh, depending on how much you have. If you have it all together, you're going to get a dirty load. But today what I want to do more importantly is focus on heat sinks that have a nice chunk of copper in them. Sometimes you will be as lucky to find them that have a nice thick ingot like this. Sometimes you will find them that have a nice chunk at the top here of copper. And sometimes if you were very lucky, you will find some heat sinks that are made of all copper. So what I want to do today is I want to go through some of them show you how to separate the material and maximize your profit because extrusion and copper right now are extremely high priced and it is even better when you can separate them to get the highest value. So here we go. The first thing I do want to say is a lot of these heat sinks, these mainly come off of your circuit boards in computer towers on the motherboard. Uh, as you can see, I have found a lot of them. Computer towers, Often find on garbage day, people are starting to get rid of them, replacing your traditional computer uh, and tower with your laptops. So they are nice to find and you can find the mother ones that have a nice chunk of copper in them. Some of them like this are pure uh, clean extrusion aluminum. And I'm not gonna complain about this. This actually right here is actually half a pound because uh, I just weighed it. These are very heavy, which is awesome. Some of them, you can see there's actually a nice tubing that goes through them. And because aluminum is so easy to cut through, uh, it is very easy to actually take out that copper and put this copper into my number one copper and the aluminum going into either clean aluminum, if it's something like this that has fins, or something like this that has looked like it's been put through a press uh, and it's gonna go into extrusion and separate copper. So I also have a scale behind me here. I am gonna weigh some of them. Um, I do have, as I said, a number of them that come in different widths. Uh, these ones, like I said, come in different things. You do have to make sure in order to get clean extrusion, remove the screws. And these are very easy to do. Uh, all I actually do is just take a pair of pliers and I will actually just bend that out. Uh, I'll do one right now for you, just to show you. Um, you know, I usually put it in my press, but there you go. You know, the, that screw is gonna go into my steel pile. But, uh, you know, again, they're very easy to do. And now I am actually just upgrading this to clean. You do have some, for example, like this that are smaller, that do have your little metal pin inside of there. You do have to remove this uh, to get that out in order to get clean extrusion price. And again, aluminum is very easy to fold or bend. I'm just going to put a, a screwdriver through that and just kind of bend the pins as you can see there. Very easy to do. Okay, just exposing the metal. Uh, I usually put it into my um, vise, but I'm hoping, there you go, it's out. Look how easy that was. Now I have a nice clean piece of extrusion and this is gonna go into my metal bin or my tin shred bin. Uh, tin shred as well. All my screws, <coughs> excuse me, great price right now. I just actually went to the scrapyard yesterday. I had 430 pounds of it uh, and I was given about 12 cents a pound, which is awesome. Uh, great 
item here. I had a great big 10 pound uh, bucket of screws. So you definitely want to make sure you separate them and do put these into your uh, steel pile because these are still worth something. Uh, these ones, same idea as that smaller one. All I'm going to do actually, I'm going to start with this one and all I'm going to do is actually just fold the pins back and take a grinder and cut down to that copper. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. This is the first one I'm going to focus on. Um, sometimes you will see them that have the metal backing and these same idea. I'm going to do one of these as well, but uh, that's the first one I want to start with. Okay, so just going to take it, going to start with uh, putting it into my vise. Okay, I'm going to take a type of pry bar like you see here, make sure this is clamped in and I'm just going to put it in the middle. Just fold it, as you can see, just so I can expose as easy as I can or as, as close as I can to the copper ingot. Now I'm just going to take my grinder, as you can see here, I'm just going to make an incision. Okay, I had to move that to show you. Now, the nice thing about this, it is going to be a little warm, but now that I've exposed it, I've opened it, I am going to just, one more time actually, just make sure it's open, which it is, but it should actually just fold out, as you see there. There it is, and watch this, boink, just pop it right out. And this is, if I scratch this, just to show you. You can see inside of that, that is clean aluminum, so, or sorry, copper. So this is pure copper. And this is actually, I'm gonna put this into my number one copper, which is actually going for $4.68 a pound, which is awesome. I do have obviously two different styles, two different thicknesses, but it's all amazing. And I can't wait to weigh this because I can just feel it right now that it's heavy. Um, and I still have right here my extrusion. So this is still gonna go for $1.56 a pound as is. And I am gonna weigh this as well. This is still very heavy, okay? I wanna focus on this one right now. This one is hollow, but it's still great copper. Uh, I am gonna have to uh, cut through the steel there. Sometimes you will have them. Um, where is the one? I had one that actually had screws on the bottom. Sometimes they will have them with screws. I can't find it obviously now because I'm in the middle of a video, but um, some of them will have your screws on the bottom that you just have to take out instead and the backing will come off. This one does not. So again, same idea. I'm actually just gonna start it here with my vise, put it in there, make sure it's secure. My vise is not Doing very well today, I think, because of the cold, maybe. I need to hit it with some WD-40, I think, maybe. But again, I'm just gonna take my fins, and I gotta make sure that I get between them. There are actually a couple spots right here where the fins are double connected. So I gotta be careful. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing. This time there will be sparks because aluminum is non-sparking, but uh, metal is. Uh, if I put a magnet to it, as you can see, that is magnetic, so that is going to be steel. So here we go. All right, so now that I got to my metal, hopefully now I can just actually pop this top off, as I can see, that's what's beautiful about a, uh, a vise. So this is gonna come off, put this underneath. And again, I'm just being cautious because it can be warm, okay? But this is going to, once I punch this out, <laughs> gotta open it a little bit better, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna actually just hit it out with a punch Best way to do it, I guess, as well. OK, 
Okay? And again, sometimes they do come out, sometimes they're stubborn, and that's okay, because so am I. Okay, but just releasing this, just gonna take a screwdriver, my hammer. There you go. So now again, I got three different items. I have my clean extrusion, I have my steel, and again, another piece of copper. And even though this is hollow dipping into the middle, this is heavy. So I am excited about that. Uh, this one, the nice thing about this actually just has tiny screws on it. Um, and the screws obviously are gonna go into my metal. I do also wanna make sure I say that every one of these aluminum heat sinks do have a fan on top of them. As you can see, these fans have a little copper motor inside. Um, I've saved one somewhere, hopefully right here, okay? As you can see, there's not a lot of copper in there. These I actually just put into my copper bearing motor pile and I will get to 10 to 15 cents a pound for these. Uh, the rest of it, uh, once I take out the thing, the other option is putting this into e-waste. Uh, but again, I'm gonna make more money from the copper bearing motor. And this, as you can see, this entire thing is copper. So this is gonna be my number one copper. Uh, I don't have to do anything else. If I put a magnet to it, there are no pins. It is pure copper, which is awesome. I'm gonna weigh that as well. This one, another style. This, as you can see, has got some really nice aluminum fins. Uh, I am going to, look at how thick that copper is. There is a couple welds on that that I do need to just pierce. I might lose a little bit of this copper, but again, definitely going to be a lot better getting as much of that copper. These things as well, I see these sometimes. All I'm going to do for this one actually is, this tubing is going to be number one. I'm just going to actually put in my vise again, incision, go all the way down here and be able to pop that up. There is a small little bit of soldering, as you can see. That piece of soldering will go into number uh, two pile. But um, just going to, right now, I will do, just to show you, just, I'll just do a one incision there. Again, this, if it is aluminum, is not going to spark, which is great. Um, you do want to make sure, like I said, you can bring these in for dirty copper if they are really difficult, but in my opinion, as I said, given the price of copper right now, way better to separate it. So here we go. is not hard to do. If I pull this up, there might be a little bit of work to separate this. If I take uh, my punch, I need to open this, I think, a little bit more. But as you can see, they are easy to get out. Could just fold it like that, just to expose the copper, okay? Kind of like um, a copper, one of those copper or aluminum radiators. Okay, but there is my copper. You can see it starting to come up. I do have to make a little bit of a fold to it. I might actually be bending this and breaking it, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. So I just broke it. There we go. There, I'm gonna put it in my vise a little bit better just so you can see it, turn it. Okay, uh, at least if I turn it like that, it's starting, there we go. Just gonna fold it, turn it. Okay, and it's gonna start coming out once I start grabbing. So again, you might have to do a little bit of opening up. I didn't, uh, for the sake of speed, I didn't open it up all the way, but as you can see, I did take a punch. I hit it one way. I just have to take it, open it up that way. But again, some great copper, and I will do the same here. I will just cut on the bottom, okay? But these ones will be a little bit different. I do want to caution this aluminum because it is all fins, if you will. 
It might, it will be clean aluminum once I take it apart, a, a pair compared to this, which as I said, it looks like it's been put through a press. So moment of truth, I'm just going to weigh these four ingots and this for you. Again, an amazing thing to have. Hopefully you can find lots of them. I don't find as many of these, but I'm not gonna complain getting even one of these is definitely a score. So here we go, it's at zero. This actually alone is 14 ounces. One pound, three, 1.9, 1.14, two pounds, four ounces right there. So at $4.68 a pound, great, great score. I'm gonna take just the two pieces of extrusion that I pulled the ingot out of. There is 13.3 ounces right there. There's 16 ounces in a pound. Uh, so, oh, I'll put this one on, why not? There you go, there's 16, 15.8. So a pound right there of extrusion. Awesome, awesome item to find again. There you go, actually there's the piece, there's the screws. So once I pull those screws out, this metal will come off. Um, but hopefully that answered a couple questions. Again, I've had a couple people ask me some great places to find copper. And for me, this is an excellent one. So aluminum heat sinks from your motherboards, from uh, computer towers. Sometimes, if you're lucky, we'll have a beautiful chunk of copper. If not, again, don't be discouraged because it is still gonna be extrusion and an all-time price as well. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned a couple of tips and tricks. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.